I met with Jesus a while back. Oh, by the way, my name is Nicodemus. I'm, also, I'm one of the leaders of the Pharisees. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to appear to say this in front of anybody who might be out to get me. So I wear a disguise so that people won't know who I am. Anyway, I met with Jesus one night. Uh, I had some questions. My friends had some questions about, about his teachings. And we were wondering why he was doing the things he was doing. We also wanted to find out if he was the real deal or not. Because we had, had seen him do miracles. We had seen him heal people. We had seen him uh, uh, say something about tearing the temple down and, and rebuilding it in three days. And all kinds of stuff that, that, that normal teachers like us, and, and I consider Jesus a teacher too, uh, would not say. Um, he made some claims that none of us really think are too good. Anyway, so uh, I had a conversation, and I went at night because, like I said, you never know who's out to get me. Uh, uh, being a Pharisee, I, I, uh, I belong to a whole, whole group of people, but we're not all the same. There are some, some of us who have an open mind to, to learn what Jesus is talking about. What, what, what he wants to do with the world and who he is and all this other kinds of stuff. But there are Pharisees out there who want to do him in and, and get rid of him because they don't agree with him. Well, there are all kinds of us out there that do agree with them, that, that we want to find out more. There are some Pharisees that are so strict uh, about the law that, that they, they say that according to Moses, if, if your wife burns your toast, that's grounds for divorce. Get rid of her. And there are some of us that say, that's kind of minor. That's not really one of the laws. It may be one of the, what is it, about 700 and something laws that we have for purity and all that kind of stuff. But that's not the, the way I want to go with this. See, I, when I met him that one night, I, I just said, you seem like a, a good guy that you do healings, and, and God must be with you. And he just started going into about the Spirit and being born again and all this stuff that I don't understand. Because how can me, a, an older guy, be born again into, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And he says something about born in the Spirit and, and renewing and, and being from, born from above. And I just can't get it around my, my head around that right now because it's confusing to me. He said something about God so loving the world, something about He gave His only Son, and, and I assume that Jesus meant Himself when He was talking about the only Son, that whoever believes in Him, Jesus, I guess, that you'll have eternal life. I still haven't figured what the eternal life thing is, but he was saying something about this, this wonderful life with God, that God's present with you all the time, that you can live in the fullness of this, of this God who is with us. And, and we know, being a, being a Pharisee, I know the laws from 2,000 years ago. I studied it since I was a child, over and over and over, and we have debates among ourselves to figure out what this law says to us so that we can live a better life. And, and granted, there are some Pharisees that, that, that they just want to puff themselves up and, and be the big shot and, 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 and pray and, and make a big show of it. But we're not all like that. There are some of us who, who, who want to see good things happen to people. We want to help lead the people because after all, I'm sure the temple will be destroyed. Then who's left to teach the Torah? The Pharisees. The, the me, I'll be, I'll be responsible for teaching this stuff to all our ch children and grandchildren, and so the faith can continue. I suspect Jesus wanted us to get it right. That's why his teachings are so confusing to make us think. I was so intrigued with Jesus talking about the light that we want to live in darkness, and, and I assure you, uh, being under Roman rule is very, can be very dark at times. Oh, sure, they'll let us worship only to a certain extent. But, but sometimes we don't have the freedom to do all that we want to do. Sometimes they tell us we can't do such and such and so and so because it interferes with Roman law or rule. And Jesus certainly broke those laws so he could be with people and help people out. But he gave a message that I can't give, and it's talking about him, him personally being the Son of God, and Him 
personally being the light of the world that gives hope to the people that are hopeless, to give them strength, to give them courage, to heal their wounds, to talk to their spirits, to make a difference in their lives so that they can know that God is with them, with us. I'm a different kind of Pharisee. We, we had debates long after I met with Jesus. And when it got really rough, they, they wanted to just, just to crucify him. They wanted to get rid of him. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't it part of our law that, that we hear people out first before we judge them? We haven't heard this man's side of the story yet. And of course, they just shushed me and got rid of me and said they didn't want to hear any of that stuff. And then, and then later on, after Jesus died on the cross, which was a sad, sad day for all of us, I went with Joseph of Arimathea to, to get his body. And being a good uh, leader of the Torah, I, I, I went with him and I brought the, the, the ointments for, for burial so that you could have, have a proper Jewish burial because he was Jewish. He was baptized. He went to synagogue. He taught. He learned. He debated all of these things. And now he deserved a, a Jewish burial. And I was there to do that. My friends think I'm a little crazy, but that's okay. I'll be that. That's fine with me. But I am so intrigued with my conversation that I have to pass it on. I have to tell my friends, and, and hopefully they'll tell their friends. Like I said, there are a few of us out there that, that believe with an open heart the new things that Jesus was all about. And so I'll go back. I'll continue my journey with my friends. And when I have a synagogue of my own, that is what I'll teach. That is what I'll try to impress on people. You see, that Jesus was here. God in flesh was here. And he wants the best for us. You saw what he did. He healed people. He helped people out. He made th people feel that they were free, that God is with them. And that's the message I hope to convey to everybody I, who's in my synagogue. And I hope my friends will do the same. Jesus was the light. Jesus is the light. I still feel him in my heart. Even after that first night, I still feel him burning in my heart. I know that he's alive and well in my heart. And that's the message I want to convey. He is the light. He's the truth, the only truth that I'll ever know. And so with that, I take my leave. Thank you for listening. And thank you for not having anybody out there to get me. I'll be on my way before anything happens. In the meantime, I'll take this heavy, heavy book of the law and go my separate ways.